this was the no-brainer. This was the banker. This was the one that couldn't fail. This was one that's never failed. So it's James Gunn teasing Justice League Frontier. Now, for those of you who don't know what Justice League Frontier is, let me break down a simple plot. An unknown entity named the Center tells the story about how it was born from the Earth itself and has witnessed the evolution of the dinosaurs, the meteor shower, and mankind's evolution. Due to man's capacity for war and violence, the Center has concluded that they must be eradicated. And I wonder if this is going to be the main central focus for the overarching story for the DC going forward. It won't be Darkseid. It won't be Brainiac. It'll be this unknown villain called the Center and that's what forms the Justice League and if that's the case I feel like that would be the case since James Gunn likes to go with the unknown villains first until Darkseid but, but if it is oh we're in for something big and James Gunn gives his thoughts on comic books and why he loves them so much so comics are important to me and it's important to me that DC Comics takes advantage of all of that. I want comics to continue. I don't want them to be a dying art form and this is why this is why James Gunn is so passionate about the DC universe and why he won't let this fail. I mean, remember, James Gunn even though he respects Kevin Feige, even though he loves comic books overall, not just Marvel and DC, but make no mistake about it, he wants DC to be the number one brand, to be the number one studio that makes not only, you know, the fan favorite comic book movies, but also artistic uh, movies as well, such as Joker for the DC Elseworlds. So I'm ready for it, bro. What I'm not going to do is entertain your shenanigans. And here is the inspiration for the DCU going forward. So if you want to pick up these comics, here it is. Creature Commando, Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow, The Authority, Batman and Robin, Booster Gold. Now, I will definitely pick up Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow because I never read that. Um, I, have already, I already have the Grant Morrison's Batman and Robin. Booster Code, Booster Code, <laughs> Booster Code, that's his younger brother, Booster Gold, uh, picking that up, and also, if you want to, you know, if you're interested in the Amanda Waller TV show, which I'm sure all 12 of you are, you can pick up this comic right here, and also interesting is the How Jordan Core from the DC Rebirth, which is, which will serve as the inspiration for the Lantern show on HBO Max, which I found very interesting, because I know it's going to be a mix of, of True Detective, but also this space opera a la star wars which i've been saying for the longest time i've been saying that green lantern core is basically dc's dc's version of star wars and and it seems like they are going to go down that route and i hope they do because i want to see some awesome space battles uh in the hands in the mind of james gunn and peter saffron like i said man this dcu i'm telling you i'll keep telling you but nobody wants to listen to me dcu give it a couple of years but i'm telling you right now dcu will overtake marvel in popularity i guarantee you because like i said dc has the upper hand not only do we have the main continuity of films that will serve as the mass appeal for general audiences to like but we also have the dc elseworld stories and movies that will cater to a more adult audience a la you know swamp thing even though swamp things part of the main dcu but trust me when i tell you that's gonna be rated r we have the batman we have the joker and if they want to tell other adult stories like a, a lex luthor standalone film or, or a dark gritty violent action thriller like deathstroke they can do that and marvel cannot do that marvel has to stick to its own pg-13 main streamline of uh, films and i know and even though they have disney plus it still doesn't cater to the adult audience it's still catered to the larger mcu cinematic universe that is largely you know made up of fucking five-year-old kids who still wet their bets so <laughs> they're kind of at a disadvantage here dc fans and dc films we are not and even though the main continuity of dc films will cater to more to more of the general audience it's still pretty dark i mean you have batman the brave of the bold which deals with a 12 year old assassin who wants to murder people not exactly barney and friends so it, it will still cater to a more adult audience but the dc elseworlds is is something that you know they can really delve deep into the dc lore and continuity of of the more adult stories which again I'm telling you, man, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a fun ride for DCU. So, Justly Frontier, maybe it will be announced at San Diego Comic-Con. Keep a lookout for that. But we are definitely going to get an announcement on who the new Superman is at Comic-Con 
Just League, The New Frontier, the new, uh, the second part of Chapter 1 of DC Films would definitely be announced or revealed. And I can't wait for it, bro. As always, hit like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Discord, your sister's ass, and let me know your thoughts down below. I'm ready for it, bro. Just announce the new Just League lineup, and I will be in sweet, sweet heaven. And what do you think about the center being the villains of the DCU? If you don't know who that is, Google, motherfucker. All right? <laughs> Love you all. Stay safe. Mwah. Truth out. She doesn't even go here.